howdy everyone welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an Easter wreath I'm just gonna be making a small little wreath with items from the Dollar Tree so let me show you what those items are and then I'll let you know what tools I'll be using for that so let's get started I bought a styrofoam wreath and I've already taken the sticker off of it otherwise I remember what size this is but let's see it's about it's 10 inch diameter is what it is from one outer edge to the outer edge, it's 10 inches. So that's what this is, it's just a $1 styrofoam wreath. You could use the wire ones, they do have the wire ones also, but I decided to go with styrofoam this time. And then I went ahead and I got some decorative mesh. There you go. This is uh, five yards, these are six inch wide of mesh, and I will unroll that so you can see it. I got it in the blue, and well, I had some white also, I guess from a year ago that I purchased it or from yeah, a year ago, um, and I haven't used it, so I decided maybe I'm going to use both of those. I've also got some flowers that I got at the Dollar Tree. I got this little bush. It's got like little yellow type style daisies, and it even has a little butterfly. It's not a very uh, nice little butterfly. It's kind of crinkled, but I do have some butterflies um, over to the side that I believe I also got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, if not, I probably got them at Hobby Lobby and they weren't expensive. But anyway, uh, if I decide to use a butterfly, I'll probably use a different one. Um, that one's pretty, but I'd have to fix it a lot. Anyway, here's some more flowers. These are like the hydrangea style, and it's pretty in pink. And then I also got these, which are like a carnation, and they're yellow. And of course, these are all just uh, artificial silk flowers. They're not real, in case you thought they were. And then I also got these uh, egg picks, and it's a package of 10 in there and I have these from last year but I've seen them here seen them at the Dollar Tree this year so you can still find them uh, you may find some a different pack maybe some bigger ones and maybe even smaller ones but anyway I have these and it's a pack of ten again it was only one dollar and I had I also grabbed this little plush bunny that I got this year little bunny here he's cute and I decided that I'm probably gonna put him in the wreath I do have another little bunny that's keeping me company over here I don't know maybe I'll use him but I, I do kind of like the little plush one and uh, I had a bow already and this this ribbon where I made this bow from was also from the Dollar Tree that I grabbed it from last year it was three yards on the roll they still have the same amount of yards on the rolls and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just recycle the same bow I don't remember where I had it on or why I made it but I have it and I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my wreath okay so then the tools that you will need you'll need a high glue gun with, uh, of course, a glue sticks. You're going to need some wire cutters, and this is to cut uh, the flowers from the stems, unless you have some good, um, uh, I don't know how to describe, some scissors, some scissors that you can use to cut wire. And then of course you need just regular scissors in case you need to cut off tags and things like that, or if I was cutting the fabric on the ribbon. Don't use your good scissors to cut wire. You'll just ruin them. So uh, it would be a good idea to invest in some wire cutters. They can be some less expensive ones. And of course, they don't have to be like the one that I have. And then the other item that I'm going to use, because I'm using this styrofoam wreath, I'm going to be using these. These are called gleaning pins. They're also called U-pins. They're also referred to as S-pins. And I think because of that little kind of s formation that they have at the top probably why they're also referred to as s-pin uh, the reason that it has that is so that it has surface like to grab something to adhere to here not just like a straight uh, like a staple would be where things it might not grab enough of a you know surface of a material so I think that's why, why I believe I'm sure <laughs> that's why it has that that uh, S formation on there. But these are called greeting pins. That, that's how they're described in the box. So if you look for them online, search greeting pins and that's what you'll find. It'll be easier to do that than try to find looking for a U pin or an S pin. Okay, um, let's get started and I'll be right back. All right, so let's get started by preparing uh, our mesh. This is our mesh. Let me unroll it a little bit so you can see what it's like. It has a little bit of a shimmer, a little iridescent uh, bits going through it. Uh, this blue one has some silver, so it's got some shine to it. It's really pretty, and that's what that looks like. And what I've gone ahead and is I've gone ahead and cut it, um, cut it. I've already cut six inch pieces like so, six inch in length, and they're six inch in width. So basically, they're 
they're sort of a, basically a square. So I've cut six of the blue and I've cut six of the white. Now I'm going to cut more of them, but this is what I've started with. I've cut six, so I have 12 pieces, and then I've taken, taken one of the pieces and I'm going to scrunch it up in the middle and take these U-pins. And the one thing that I discovered about the U-pins is that I'm going to have to trim them because they are going to pop out from the back of my wreath and I don't want bits of the pointy edges popping out the back because it will poke me or it will scratch the wall or door wherever I decide to put the wreath. And basically I've already put one on there so you can see. And now I'm going to put a white one right next to it. And I'm going to continue doing that as I build along all the way around the wreath. Now there's going to be some spots where it might look a little bald and that's fine because remember I am going to put some flowers in there and I'm also going to be putting my little bunny so my bunny's going to take up some space so I probably don't have to worry about completely covering it but I am going to try and do as much as I can. So again scrunch it up in the middle, I trim those U-pins probably going to trim a whole bunch of them before I continue going, doing this. So let's just do that, put it next to the blue, and we're just going to keep doing that, okay? It's going to create a really pretty effect, blue, white, blue, white, etc. Okay, let me trim off some of these. I'm ready. I'm in my own craft room, so I really don't care where these little bits go flying to, but maybe you get a little box or something where you can cut them so that they, when they shoot out, they fall into the box and they don't go all over your floor and somebody might step on them. So anyway, I've got some done there. All right, so let's scrunch it up in the middle. Grab a pin and stick it in there. These little bits, you can just cut off little pieces that come off. what I've got going so far. Any areas that feel I feel like they're maybe a little too bald, I might grab some ribbon and I have plenty of ribbons and maybe you want to prepare yourself with some little extra solid colored ribbons or maybe even Easter themed ribbon and then maybe you can fill in the little gaps here and there and that's extra color to it. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this and um, I'll let you know how many pieces I ended up cutting for this 10 inch uh, uh, foam wreath and I will be back. Okay, what I did is I cut another six of the white and another six of the blue. So all together I have 12 and 12, so that's 24 pieces in case you decide to use solid. And then just oops, poke them in right next to each other. And I've still got the space that I need to cover, but like I said, I'm going to add a little bunny here. So I want to go ahead and put him in my wreath. And I think I want him on, on the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add them to that part. And that's where I'm going to use my glue gun. Now, as I was putting in my U-pins, I was just sticking them in there. But you can choose to put some glue on the tips of them before you insert them and then push them in. Or put glue on here and then push them in. But just make sure you don't get any glue on your hands. Um, or you could just do what I just did right now and is just go back over them and add little droplets of glue here and there just to, you know, make sure that they are, they are sticking down. You could do that, carefully go in there and do that. It would probably be easier to do it each one as you put it down rather than going back and trying to put it in after the fact. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little bunny and I want it on the left side. So I'm just gonna put some glue down the back and I'm just gonna glue him straight onto there. I could use some U-pins if I wanted and just kind of poke through his fabric and then poke, poke him in there and not glue him at all if I intended on maybe removing it, but I'm not, I'm just gonna go ahead and Put glue down his back, and I am going to remove that tag because I'm not using it for, you know, in a child's room or anything like that. I'm going to put him as high up as I can so that he's sort of overlapping these uh, this uh, loops that are up here. And as you can see, I've got some space here for more. So I'm going to put him, and I'm going to want him to be kind of pushed up a little bit. So I'm going to try and fill all this in with some more. Okay, just put that in there. 
going to continue. I have another piece already cut here from the blue. And then I'm going to cut some more white and more blue until it's all filled in. Measuring six inches. I feel like I'm going to need quite a few of these, so I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut four. And it's not easy to cut because it just moves around everywhere, which is why I did it off camera because it was just that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it here. And, and I'm also running out of uh, the mesh, so it's getting tighter in the roll, so it's rolled up even tighter, so it's harder to unroll it. Okay, let me do three and then another two blue. Going by the measurement this way now. Okay. So 12 and another three of each is 15, so that's 30 um, mesh pieces that I've cut so far. And uh, you don't have to count, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing it uh, so that you have a, a more or less, you know, an idea of how many I have to cut in case you want to cut a bunch of them in advance. But I suggest cutting a few at a time because um, you never know. Maybe you decide to spread them out a little bit more and then fill it in with something else. And then you don't want to have all these little extra pieces left over. And, you know, basically, wait, I'm going to get a little tighter there. A little tighter together. And I'm going to need some more view pins because I had prepared a whole bunch of these and cut off the excess tip. Three more for now. Okay. Next was a white one. Go. And then a blue. I like how full this looks with this mesh. And I don't know if I'm going to put anything on the edges because it looks like it covers up pretty, pretty well. There we go. So now my little bunny is kind of like sitting on top of, of that. If you want, you could add some here on the sides. I might just do that. Let me go ahead and add a little bit more just to fill those edges in. I think I need a couple more blue and then a couple more of the white. Let's see what that does. And then you could also go a little bit shorter because you do have a bunny in the way. Get some more of these greening pins. I always used to calling them U pins. So I might call them u pins, and I may have already said that a couple of times. I don't know. I didn't catch myself. All right, so here we go. Adding some more. And at this point, I'm just cutting as I need. So I had said I had cut 30, and I cut another four more so that's 34 little pieces that I've cut of this mesh Get those little ears out of the way one more the white one now if you wanted to add another maybe three colors of mesh instead of just uh, two. You could do that, it would look really pretty, maybe blue, pink, and white, or et cetera. This could also be used for a little baby shower, kind of a, not just Easter, but for a little baby shower. Look at that, it's cute for a little, put on the door for maybe announcing whether it's gonna be a boy or a girl at your shower. Okay, so now I think that's really nice the way it is. I don't think I need to add anything else to do anything on the sides because they're really not gonna show. This is gonna be up against the wall. I was going to trim this little tag off the bunny. It's not really necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Because it's going to be on the door, and this is not going to show. Now, if you don't if you don't like it showing, by all means, cover it up. Okay, so let me get my flowers. 
And I also found out that I also had these that were little tulips. So I might use those as well. Okay. I like for sure these carnations. So I'm just going to trim them off as short as I can because I know that I'm going to have to trim them anyway. And maybe with a little leaf thingy on it. Okay. And now I'm going to just push the leaf part up as much as I can. And then trim about, just leave about an inch of stem on there. And I'm going to fold it over because I want to put glue on there and I want it to have to have something that will, will stick to my wreath. So I'm going to do this right underneath the bunny. So he's sitting on some little flowers and I'm going to form my little flower area right around here. Just place them as you wish because I'm going to put all the other little flowers in between there. And I want to make like a little bouquet right around here. I'm going to leave a little space up in the side here for my, um, my bow. But you can place the flowers however you wish. Okay, let's see one more. This one came off the stick here, so I just gotta put it back. Trim it. I like to do things in odd, so the three kind of look good to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. And let me cut off some of these tulip ones. And since I've already, I may not use them all, but since I've already cut most of them, I might as well just do the rest. And what you can do is you can just cut them all at the longest point. Or rather, if you're cutting off a stem and you don't know if you're going to use them all, cut them off at the, uh, the lowest point. So you can keep as much length of the flower because in case you use it for another project. And then you can just trim it as you need it. But if you're going to trim a few of them off, you might as well trim all of them so you don't have them on that one stick looking kind of nasty. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add these little tulips in there somewhere. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure you don't, like you open up these, uh, open up these little loops and go and glue it way in there rather than on top of the, uh, the mesh. Make sure it's sticking to that bottom part. Running out of glue, the glue's not pushing down. Okay. I'm going in there and inserting the tulip way in there. And I'm kind of alternating the tulips. Some going this, some going in like this, some going in like that. So they're not all like in a, necessarily in a pretty little row. The one right here behind the little bunny. Okay, this is what I've done so far. I'm gonna add some more of these flowers, and I'm gonna go ahead and add these hydrangeas next. And I know I want to use them all, so I'm just gonna cut them. Uh, at their shortest point. This one has this tag. I need to remove and get it out of the way. So I can push this green part up and then just trim it. Okey-dokey. And then just poke these wherever I think they look pretty. Fill in my bouquet. Need some more. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my bow so I can see what it's looking like so far. And then I've got those little Easter eggs, and I've got more of these little flowers, and maybe a maybe a butterfly. Let me use this one. 
Oh, one more carnation here. Come on, honey, get in there. I'll use it way up here next to Mr. Bunny. And then some of this hydrangea. There. See how pretty it's starting to look once you start filling it in with the flowers? Now you go and buy yourself a better quality flower. So you go to Hobby Lobby, get yourself a better quality of flowers if you don't want to use from the Dollar Tree. Hey, it's just going to make it look a little bit more quality, but heck, it still looks pretty with these Dollar Tree. And since this is about Dollar Tree, that's what we're doing. Okay, so where's my bow? Oh, my bow is hiding. Oh, there it is. On the floor, as it should be. And I decided that I want to put this on the opposite side. But let's look at it. Hmm. I think I want it up here. Let me look at it straight down. Nope. I want it on the opposite side. Kind of like not tucked in, but tucked out on the bottom to the to the right side. And you can put it wherever you want. I just like things to be a little bit offset. So I'm adding it right here. Once I've glued it on, then I can poof it, make it look pretty. But it's not dry yet, so I don't want to quite move it too much right now. So we're going to let that dry on there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's looking really pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the little little eggs that I had in the little bag. And I said I was going to uh, take them off the, um, the, the sticks that they're on. I'm going to use the solid color ones because there are some that have like little stripes, even though they're pretty. But there's only three of them like that, so I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use some of these solid ones, and I'm going to cut them as I decide that I'm going to use them. So I'm going to cut pink one, put that way up here, I like this green one as well, that way up here, the other one, Pretty blue. Um, over here, and then I've got a purple one as well. So maybe I am going to use all of them because <laughs> here we go. I just trying to get them in there. Hide the little stick in there. Can you see the little eggs now in there? Okay, I'll be putting the camera on it a little bit better so you can uh, see it a lot better once I have it on the door. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to add something here in the back and uh, to hang it on my door. And I'm just going to use a little piece of wire. I'll use this uh, U-pin as an example for now. I trimmed it off a little bit. And this is going to be my top way over here. So I want to add a little wire or you could add a ribbon to hang it. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue into my U-pin. And I'm just going to insert it kind of at an angle and just insert a little bit of it in there so some of it is sticking out. Kind of like that. See that? That's going to be my little hanger. And I'm just going to add some more glue. Right there where I glued it in. And that's where I'm going to be hanging it from. So I'm going to let that dry. I think this is a finished product. I like it. What do you think? Leave your little nice comments below. What would you do different? This was easy. It was quick, I think. Um, I hope you find that it's a quick idea. I'm going to put it on my door and let you see what it looks like. And I'll be back. Oh, no, I won't. Not yet. I have these daisies. Hello. I bought these daisies because I thought they were really pretty. I'm just going to remove them off the, uh, the uh, stems here. Because it has this also, but it's only these three little flowers. I want to add these in there, too. 
I'm not done. Oh my goodness, look at all the flowers I ended up having on here. And I didn't even spend a lot of money. Awesome. Yes, okay, let's put some over here. And then some up high behind Mr. Bunny's head over here. Just tuck them in there. Look at that. A little more yellow. Okay, let's go outside and see what it looks like. All right, here's the wreath hanging outside on my door. And it looks really pretty once it's out here and it's natural light. In the natural light, not its natural light. Fix up my little bunny. There's the little bow, looks really pretty. back it up and there you go hope you like my tutorial and I hope you'll create your own and uh, let me know what you think at the bottom as always give me a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always enjoy <laughs>